Hello everyone, this is Pastor Susan and I'm the youth pastor here at TNCC. I want to talk to you about the prayer of confession taken from the scripture 1 John 1 9 where it states, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The scripture is a call for the believers to live differently than the world calls us to live. The world tells us to stay the same, but God calls us to transformation. He calls us to relationship with himself. He desires to be in fellowship with us. See, authentic faith is the kind of faith that says, I know the condition of my heart, but I know the God who loves me, who challenges me to be better, and who restores my life. Authentic faith understands that in order to have the kind of relationship and fellowship with God that is required to withstand the pressures of this life, we must not walk in darkness. If our sin doesn't bother us, then we are not in true fellowship with Jesus. And this is where confession comes in. If we are to flee that darkness, we are to confess it, expose it, call it out for what it is, so it doesn't desensitize us to its intention, which is to separate us from God, to keep us distant from him. You see, the enemy wants us to keep things inside. He wants us to remain in chains and bondage so he can keep us weak and dependent on everything else but God. So today, I encourage you to confess your sins today. Talk with God, pray and commune with him and allow him to pour into your life. The beauty of the prayer of confession is that we get to sit before the God who promises to give us a hope and a future, who promises to be our shelter in the storm and our redeemer. As we confess today, we can trust and have faith that he doesn't treat us as our sins deserve. He forgives us, he restores us, and only in him and through him will we have the victory. So join me as I pray. Father, today we confess to you our sins. We are here desiring to draw closer to you during these 21 days of prayer and fasting. We don't want to be the same, Lord. We want to be transformed. We want to break generational curses over our lives and families. We want to break cycles of anxiety and depression. We want to confess anger and bitterness. We don't want to hold anything back. We want to expose the lies of the enemy and the lives, the lies we have believed for too long. We confess our doubts and our fears. We confess those times where we've been hurt and where we've hurt others and broken promises. We want to confess secrets and addictions. Father, as we confess, I pray against the enemy who will try to bring condemnation and accusations. Lord, you are the healer. You are the redeemer and our deliverer. We trust you, Lord. We honor you today and we thank you in advance that we have the victory over sin and death. In your precious name we pray, amen. God bless you.